Lil Wayne's Carter albums is arguably one of the most legendary series in hip hop history. Millions of pun fans out there hold it near and dear to their heart. The only problem is the guy that made it says he doesn't remember most of it. In a recent interview with Rolling Stone, Wayne admitted that he doesn't know the Carter three, Carter two, the Carter one from the Carter four. And that's just a God honest truth. He said he could lie. He said, if you ask me about such and such song, I wouldn't even know what we talking about. It holds no significance to me at all. When asked about the success Carter three had back in 08, he said, I don't even know when the Carter three came out. That's how much I don't know. I work every day, every single day. I always look at it as the curse part of the gift and the curse. I believe God blessed me with this amazing mind, but would not give me an amazing memory to remember this amazing stuff. The reason why I'm only still listening and working on my own ish is because I believe once you start listening to everybody else, you ain't in it no more. You just happy to be here, but not me. I'm in a gym working on my game. My favorite song is the last one I record. That's from the desk of Lil Wayne. Now we have seen Wayne over the years trolling interviews. Let's call a spade a spade. He oftentimes does lie in interviews. We've heard it. It's just both plays lies. I don't know if it's intentional lies. If his memory is as bad as he says, we have seen Wayne lie many times. I want to believe that Wayne is trolling slash lying in his recent interview at Rolling Stone for the simple fact he literally just did an entire tour based off the Carter. I've seen Wayne perform myself like four or five times live. And a lot of his set is music from the Carter. So you obviously remember the hit records. What I think he's saying is some of the album cuts, he doesn't remember. And he doesn't remember that time in his life when he recorded it, which is a damn shame because I will put the Carter three up there with pretty much any of my favorite albums of all time. A lot of people love the Carter two. For me, it was three, but a lot of people revere Carter two. That's a damn shame, man. It, the man that made the music, it doesn't even mean as much to him as it does us because he doesn't remember it. That's what music is though. Oftentimes though, be honest with you. A lot of times we look at projects and albums and put them up on our all time list based on where we were at in life what those records meant to us. You know, for example, I was listening to J. Cole's 2014 Forest Hill Drive. As a junior in college, my car was broke down. So for me, I was listening to that record every day that I had to walk to my car to try to get different little things like new batteries. I had to buy oil oftentimes. I had to put water in the car often. So for me, that project is very close to my heart because of where I was at in life when that album came out, when I was listening to it over and over again. Obviously, Wayne's got a lot of those, a lot of anthems, a lot of feature success. And he's like, yo, bro, I'm still in the game. I'm not retiring yet. So for me, I'm not listening to nobody else. I don't even remember my own stuff because I'm still in it. And according to Wayne, his favorite music is the last music that he recorded. Y'all let me know. Do y'all believe Wayne is just trolling? Or do you believe, I don't know, maybe the memory has fleed on Wayne? Look, man, he's a lot of bloods, so probably a lot of lead later, man. Maybe, maybe the memory has really left Wayne and he can't remember a lot of the album cuts from these legendary bodies of work that he's had. Y'all let me know. Do y'all believe Wayne or y'all think he was just trolling in an interview? Thank y'all so much for the time, love, and support. Look, if Wayne doesn't remember Carter 2 and 3, I for damn sure will keep it with me for a very uh, long time. I'm out.